Howdy do you campers, welcome back for another episode of free and budget campsites in the NT. Look, my name's Peter and I'm traveling around Australia road testing campsites. Look, before we get right into the show, just a quick reminder to turn your notifications button on. Guys, the major thing is to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And another thing at the end of the video, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. It is totally in your hands. Righto, today we're at a place called Aleron. Um, it's a caravan and camping site. Look, it's a pretty cheap site for power, water, everything. One night, guess what? It's $15, guys. Now that is cheap. You can take that to the bank. Now I'm looking around this campsite or the caravan park itself, and it is a really nice caravan park, what I've seen so far. Now some of you guys might know this caravan park already. It's the, I think it's called The Man Walking. It's a big Aborigine guy and, a, and another Aborigine lady up there. There's some statues. One of them's up on the hill right behind me. I don't know if you can see it or not. He's a big dude. I'll also share the toilets and everything else what the place has got to offer. It's got a pub, it does counter meals, it does breakfast, it does lunch, and it also does a buffet dinner. Now guys, it's a cheap caravan park, so do yourself a favor. It's on the Stewart Highway down to Alice Springs. Look, you can't miss it, no worries. Before we get too much into it, let's have a look at the campsites. Let's go. Rightio guys, heads up. I do I have to tell you any more? Alice Springs, 134 kilometers. Devil's Marble, 256. Tennant Creek, 370. Yeah, I wouldn't say right in the middle, but it's a good little stop off between the two places. Make sure you do. There's camels to seize, there's bushwalks to do, there's Aborigine folk art you can have a look at. There's a swimming pool, swings, you name it, it's got it. the powered site drive-through area look it is a great little drive-through area they are so long it is not funny you can put a semi in here that's how long these sites are like I said before you got water one side and you got electricity the other side look you can probably get a couple of caravans if you're traveling convoy in the same area they have got around four plugs on the powered sites, so you can get a few in this little area here. But otherwise, these sites are dead level. As you can see with my van, mate, I didn't even have to chock it up at all. These are great little sites, guys. Right, when you get here, if you do pull in late, there is ample places to park here. You probably free camp here outside, go over for a drink, whatever you want. But seriously, it is so cheap in there with power and water. It's $15 a night, like I said before, guys. It is dirt cheap, it's not funny. But heads up, they do open for breakfast, ready for this, at 4.30 in the morning. Mate, seriously, I'm not even out of bed by that stage. Guys, when you get in here, there's plenty of stuff to buy here. If your kids are bored, there is toys coming out of my wazoo here. Look, why not give you, your son a gun? No, don't give him a gun, no, no. But there's plenty of toys here to do. There's plenty of food around here. They've got enough stock here. If you're camping here, you don't have to go to any shop at all. You've got lots of spam, which is great, but they've got lots of maps. They've got so many drinks. They've even got fresh fruit here and fresh vegetables and everything else, believe it or not which is strange, but they have that. This is a one-stop shop. Seriously, you don't have to go anywhere else. Rightio, guys, when you turn up here, look, there's an art exhibition here, Aborigine Art. Make sure you pop in and have a look. I'd love to show you in there, but I am not allowed to show Aborigine Art online. Do yourself a favor, come in here, go in and have a look. They have some really nice gear in there, guys. Are you ready for a dip? I am, I'm not going in, it's cold. I've felt it already and it is cold. But the pool out here is like a little oasis in the desert. Send the kids in there, they're feedless, they don't feel the cold, let them go for a swim. Beautiful. And they've also got a, a playground set. Also, well, it's not really playgrounds, so it's a set of swings. It's got heaps of things here for the kids to do. Rightio guys, phone reception. Who needs phone reception when Telstra 
offers free phone calls all around the place. Look, my um, bars at the moment, I've got 4G full bars and great service here. They do offer Wi-Fi, but you have to ask in your office and they'll point you in the right direction. But phone reception, A1 for me, guys. guys the toilet facilities look they're not too bad toilet for an old school toilet look it needs a bit of work done and the bad thing about it they've got no hand sanitizer in the males they have got it in the females they've got no paper towel they've got toilet paper and it's pretty clean look best i can probably do is around three out of five look they're not too bad they do the trick the showers are a bit you know you don't really have the full privacy that you want like the screen going right down and only goes up to you around oh, just below your hip and you've just got a shower screen and if you put your clothes anywhere they're going to get wet you can put them outside but that means you've got to go outside the privacy has gone to put your clothes back on that is the way it is sorry guys it's three no worries talk to you soon oh yeah guys the laundry mate seriously you've got three wash machines one's out of order you've got one dryer you don't need dryers out here it is damn hot and the humidity is zero the clothes are going to be drying within five ten minutes maybe two seconds nah wait look at least take half an hour out here to dry they have got clothes lines around the back so you can dry it there mate bring your own pegs what a bonus about free wash machines which is a bonus for me. Rightio guys, look, this bar is fantastic, mate. They've got every drink you can actually poke a stick at. And it's very characterable. Mate, they've got a lot of stuff here to sit around and watch. Anyway, they've got the big TV here, they've got a music box in the other room and a billiard table. They've got plenty of tables here to actually sit down and eat your food in comfort in air conditioning rooms. They've got the buffet which is every night for dinner, which is a bonus for me, which I'm coming for dinner tonight. And they've got hot foods here. And all meals, they do come with salad and chips. What a bonus, guys. No worries. I am going to go and have a drink right now. They have a bit of a common area here, which is fantastic to get with your mates, have a bit of a game of snooker, listen to this music, you got the bar right next to you. And mate, what a thing to do at night time with your mates. They've even got an outhouse with another pool table, which is the felt's really good on this one. Look, they've got an outside bar, so just in case they do get overcrowded with people, they open this section up. You've got a TV, you've got the air conditioners here, and you've got another bar at the back with another jukebox and everything else. So. Rightio, look, they've got picnic areas around here. They've got a couple of tables here. They've got one over there which is undercover, and if it does rain, you can hop underneath and still have your meal outside. But they are great little area here to sit around, have a look. You've got a big statue of the big man just behind me. You've got a little barbecue over here. It's only a little wood barbecue, of course. Now, they also have water too. Uh, now, the water here is bore water. It comes from the Artesian Shelf, gets pumped up. It comes around 25 kilometers down the track from uh, one of the Aborigine sites down there, and it links up to this place. So it's all bore water. Very high in calcium again. It's still all right to drink, but very high in calcium. It's what happens when you come out in the bush, guys. And they also offer cabins. Mate, the prices start from 154 um, and go up from there. Uh, if you want a double, single, whatever. But the cheapest one they start from, $154 a night. Rightio, guys, when you turn up here, seriously, come and have a look at some of the sculptures there are around here. You've got the old Aborigine lady here with the, um, a Gawana, and you've got the man standing on the hill. I'm assuming he's over there protecting his tribe and she is collecting food for everyone on the reservation, if that's what you call it. Rightio, Clambers, I hope you liked the episode of Alaron, Gavan Park, Roadhouse, whatever you want to call it. It's, like I said, it's just a bit out from um, Alice Springs. Now, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up thumbs down totally it's right in your hands guys and look major thing hit your notifications button so you get the latest videos that pop up and guys don't forget to subscribe you have a great weekend and i'll chat to you soon